Welcome back to Anderson Acres. We're here in the baby barn again, and today we're going to talk a little bit about humidity. Okay? We're going to talk about humidity because humidity is all weird and wonky. So we need to talk about it. <laughs> humidity is a completely crazy thing in the chick hatching world. Okay? Oops, there we go. Sorry. But it's a crazy thing. Too high and eggs won't lose enough moisture, causing your chicks to drown. That was a cat. Too low and you lose too much moisture and the eggs will dry up well before hatch. So there is a sweet, sweet spot for humidity. Okay? Humidity is not as critical as temperature. Last week we talked about temperature. But it is still important. Okay? It is incredibly important. But if you have to pick between focusing on humidity or temperature, always pick temperature. Temperature is more important. Okay? So on my little reader here, temp, humidity. You want to focus on the temp. Okay, so if your incubator has a built-in hygrometer like this one do, does, that's great, but you still want an independent one. So I have a um, calibrated thermometer hygrometer combo. So it has been calibrated, it has been tested, that's what you want. You want something that is accurate. So if you have a college or university in your town see if they have a lab supply store because labs often sell the supply stores anywhere will often sell pre-calibrated thermometers that are perfect for your purposes just get a size that fits nicely in your incubator so this one is well calibrated and accurate so right now it says a 72 percent humidity in here and yes it is i i live in a fairly humid spot 72 is normal that's you know even in the winter we're at 65 it's normal we're pretty close to a lake it's humid here so it's important to know how to calibrate your hygrometer if you don't buy it calibrated so hopefully you have one that has instructions that tell you how to calibrate it if you can't buy it pre-calibrated you want to make sure you can calibrate it later so Humidity is a little bit different from temperature. Um, opinions on temperature are pretty solid. Everyone is pretty convinced 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit is the correct temperature for incubation. But opinions on humidity vary quite a bit. So you'll have a lot of people and a lot of incubation manuals will tell you that a humidity of 55 to 60% throughout the first 18 or 19 days of incubation is correct. Okay. Well, some of your eggs may hatch, and some people swear by that particular percentage. For the majority of people, that's too high. Okay? 55 to 60% is probably too high. At that humidity, and I'm not talking about during hatch, I'm talking about during incubation. But at that humidity level, during incubation, a lot of the chicks are just not going to lose enough moisture. Chicks will drown before they hatch. If you notice a lot of your eggs develop and make it to lockdown but never hatch, your humidity might be too high during incubation. Okay? They're suggesting my camera. Sorry. But so your humidity might be too high if your eggs develop, make it to lockdown, but then they just don't hatch. There's a really good chance that what's happening is the chick in the egg is pipping into the through the membrane and then water's rushing in and drowning the chick. It's really sad. But that is a consequence of humidity that's too high. So I advocate for humidity, like it's 65, no, it's 75, sorry. It's 75 humidity in here right now. That's high. <laughs> that's absolutely high. And that's too high. Okay? It absolutely is. So I actually advocate for a humidity that is 35 to around 45% for the first 18 days of incub incubation. And I can actually maintain that simply by putting this into, putting my hygrometer into the incubator and turning the incubator on because heat naturally dries out air anyway. So yeah, 75 is way too high. If you try and hatch at 75, you're going to kill your eggs. But inside the incubator, it won't be 75. So even though it's 75 out here, inside the incubator, it'll be about 35. Okay, right around that. Because heat dries out air so there's heat in the incubator that is drying out the air that lowers my humidity that's a good thing for me okay 
So if you aim for like 35 to 45% humidity, you might notice your hatch rates go up simply because they're still needing the humidity, but you've dialed it back so the chicks are not drowning every time they pip into the, uh, pip through the membrane. Okay. Now during the final three days, humidity does need to be increased so the chick doesn't get shrink wrapped. Okay. Because what will happen if they have lost, if they pip through the eggshell, so they come through the eggshell and they're ready to hatch and it's too dry, the membrane inside the egg will shrink wrap onto them and you will not be able, and he will not be able to rotate and hatch. Okay, so you want to make sure that during the final three days of incubation, you have increased your uh, humidity. If your chicks shrink wrap, they usually get stuck and die. So you want to avoid shrink wrapping at all costs. Increase the humidity. That's when you're going to aim for around 55 to 65, not higher than that. Um, some people will tell you that it should be like 65 to 75. Again, that's too high. Um, so aim for like 60, 60 is good. Follow the instructions on your incubator for instructions on how to maintain humidity in your incubator. So in these incubators, in this one here, this is just the bottom plate. The top of it is on, is down there. So this one, what you do is you fill up this little port here with water and that port goes over into a cup in the middle. So you can just fill this port and the cup fills with water. So that's really easy. And these ones... These have a humidity tray underneath. Let's lift that up. These have a humidity tray down there. Okay, humidity tray down there. Fill that with water and let it go. You let it hatch. Hi, kittens. There's kittens in here. What? Well, it's not my fault. So you want to follow your incubator's directions on how to fill your water ports or your water trays, depending on what you have. Each incubator is a little bit different. Okay, if you're having trouble getting your humidity up because you live in a really dry area, now I don't have this problem, but if you do, because if you're living in the desert or somewhere that's equally dry, getting your humidity up, these ports and, and water trays might not be enough. You might want to use a cloth or a sponge, wet it down, and place it inside your incubator. That should help the humidity get up. Remember that the greater the surface area of your water well or reservoir, the higher the humidity can be. So instead of a deep dish, so a dish that's that deep, look for a dish, dish that's big and wide. It doesn't have to be very deep, just wide. Okay? You can put that kind of small dish inside your incubator and fill it up with water, and that'll help with humidity. Just remember that when chicks are hatching, they're stupid. And they have this tendency to uh, drown. So if you have an extra tray sitting there with water, make sure it's somehow covered with mesh or some other method to keep the chicks from drowning. Because they'll go in there and they'll dry. And they'll drown. They're stupid. Okay? So to recap, humidity around, aim for around 35, 40 during the first 18 days of incubation. And then when you go into lockdown, which we'll talk about in a coming up video. But when you go into lockdown, you want to get that up over 50%. 60 is great. But raise that humidity when they're going to be hatching so they don't get stuck in their shells. You do want them to be able to get out because they have to be able to rotate inside the egg to zip and then hatch. So you do want to make sure that you can get them out of there, that they can hatch properly. Okay, so raise the humidity during the last three days, but before then, keep it under 50. So that's my general recommendation. If you can't remember anything else, remember for incubation, under 50, for hatching, over 50. Okay, so for the first 18 days, keep it under 50, get it up over 50 when you're going to lock down and hatch. That is about it for us here at Anderson Acres today. Next week, we're going to talk about ventilation, which is incredibly important and something a lot of people don't think about. But for now, that's it for us. We'll see you tomorrow.